morning students welcome to disha classes so today we are going to discuss about mathematics paper 2 it consists of three sections section 1 section 2 section 3 section 1 weights seven marks that are section 2 consists of 12 marks and section 3 weighting 16 marks and that are lqs so today we are going to solve some questions of section 1 and i will give you some time to pause the video and solve it by yourself so it will be a good revision for you before the exams pratyusha stated that the average of first 10 odd numbers is also 10 do you agree with her justify your answer so yeah girl pratyusha stating that the average of first 10 odd numbers what is meant by odd numbers the numbers which are not the multiples of 2 like 1 3 5 7 so she is saying that the average of them first 10 odd numbers is 10 so first you try it yourself So I am giving you time of five seconds. Pause the video and solve the question. I think you have completed. So now the formula of average equals to sum of terms by number of terms. Then here we have the average of first and odd numbers. That equals to one plus three plus five plus seven up to plus nineteen. by total number of 10 terms of 10 that equals to the sum of the terms equals to 100 and the number of terms equals to 10 that gives us 10 as average equals to 10 so she is right we can agree with her i think you have got the same answer so let's move on to the next question He is asking us to write the formula to find the median of a group data and explain the alphabet. So now we have to write the formula to find the median of a group data and explain each term of it. So let's move to the solution. Yeah, it is the length of the tangent to a circle from a point seventeen centimeter from its center is eight centimeter. Find the radius of the circle. So there is a circle, and we have drawn a tangent of seventeen centimeter, and its center is eight centimeter. So now he is asking us to find the radius of the circle. pause the video and solve it so let's move on to the solution here is the diagram now the distance between p and a the tangent is 8 cm and the distance of o and a that is the center of the circle to the point of the tangent is 17 cm so now we have to find the radius and the length of po So let us consider POO as r centimeter, that is radius of the circle. By using Pythagoras theorem, we can say that seventeen square equals to eight square plus x square. That equals to two eighty nine. Seventeen square equals to two eighty nine. That equals to eight square equals to sixty four plus x square. Now we have to find the value of x square. So move four to the left side. Two eighty nine. subtracted by 64 equals to 225 now x square equals to 225 x equals to root over of 225 that equals to 15 cm so let's move on to the next question find the value of tan 2a if cos 3a equals to sin 45 find the value of tan 2a so we have to find the value of tan 2a 
and he has given us the hint of cos 3i equals to sin 45. So now cos 3i equals to sin 45. Cos 3i equals to 1 by root 2 as sin 45 equals to 1 by root 2. Cos 3i equals to cos 45. We know that sin 45 and cos 45 are equal terms that equals to 1 by root 2. So cos 3i equals to cos 45. And we can write a cos 45 as cos 3 into 15. Cos 3i equals to cos 3 into 15. So we can cancel out cos 3 and here cos 3 and that equals to a equals to 15 we get we can get the value of a that equals to 15 degrees now tan 2a it's easy to find from here tan 2 into 15 that equals to tan 30 and the value of tan 30 is equals to 1 by root 3 let's move on to next question Shrivani walks 12 meter due east and turns left and walks another 5 meter how far is she from the place she started so now let us look at the solution. Shivani walks 12 meter due east and turns left. That's she turns toward the south. She walks more 5 meter and she reaches a place that's the ending point. Now we have given three points A to B, B to C, and C to A. Now A to B is the distance of 12 meter, she walks towards the east. Then B to C is the distance of 5 meter, that's she walks towards the south. Then the ending point is that C and we have to find the distance between A and C. So here we can use Pythagoras theorem and that equals to hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square plus base square. AC square equals to BC square plus AB square. AC square equals to 25 that equals to BC square equals to 25 and AB square equals to 144 that equals to now AC square equals to 25 plus 144 then AC square equals to 169 25 plus 144 equals to 169 now AC equals to square 69 that equals to 13 meters so now let us look at the next question the pole is given and its shadow have same length a pole and its shadow have same length now we have to find the angle of the sun rays made with the earth at that time i think you have got the answer now let's look at the next solution so here x is the pole and this is the shadow that is formed length of them are equal and so this is the sun the rays are falling towards it and this is the pole the length of pole and the shadow are equal and we have to find the angle a tan a equals to opposite by adjacent now we have the same length that is x and x so we cancel it and tan a equals to 1 we know that tan a equals to tan 45 now we can cancel here tan and tan that equals to a equals to 45 degrees so the angle of the sun ray made with the earth at the time is equals to 45 degrees so let's look at look at the next question what is the probability of getting exactly two heads when three dice coins are tossed simultaneously so we have three dice that are going to be tossed and he's asking us the probability of getting exactly two heads so let's look at the solution three coins are tossed simultaneously as we know possible outcomes are heads 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 three are heads and second outcome is heads heads tails third is heads tails heads fourth is heads tails tails fifth is all are tails 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 sixth is tails tails head seventh is tails head tails eighth is 
tails head head so now what we need is exactly two heads so number of total outcomes we have eight and number of favorable outcomes are heads heads tails heads tails heads tails head head that are these three outcomes have exactly two heads so number of favorable outcomes becomes three now the probability of getting exactly two heads equals to number of favorable outcomes that equals to number of favorable outcomes equals to three and Hence the probability of getting exactly 2 heads is 8 by 3.